Welcome to the ninth section of the Mastering Prime Faces video course. In this section, we will briefly be covering three Prime Faces features and side projects to have significant impact on the applications you develop in Prime Faces. In the first video, 9.1, we will be providing a brief overview of the Prime Faces mobile components. In releases of Prime Faces prior to 5.0, Prime Faces Mobile was a bit of a side project that you had to install and configure it separately from the rest of the standard Prime Faces library. This was no longer the case for Prime Faces 5, whereby a single Prime Faces download contained everything required to build standard and mobile applications for the web. If you think about it, Transitioning from a standard desktop browser development to mobile development can be quite a task, as it takes a lot of time and patience to develop a user interface that works well on a mobile platform. Oftentimes, developers end up producing two or more applications to tackle the same problem from both the standard desktop browser or a mobile device. And oftentimes, these separate mobile and desktop applications must be written in different languages as well which can become quite pricey if your organization does not have enough funding to spend on development. Prime Faces Mobile aims to improve this issue by providing a set of mobile components as well as a mobile render kit for generating JSF views that can be used on a mobile device. This means that organizations can simply develop a single code base that can be used for both desktop and mobile browsers. All that aside, Prime Faces Mobile contains its own render kit and as such, many of the standard Prime Faces components are altered to work better on mobile devices. Built on jQuery Mobile, the components are optimized to become responsive and scale well on mobile devices. In this video, we'll take a look at a number of the components that are optimized for mobile, and we'll build a small mobile view for the Prime Auto Sales application. Now that you have a general understanding of the concept behind Prime Faces Mobile, let's dive in and use a few of the mobile optimized components to build a mobile view within the Prime Auto Sales mobile application. First, we have to apply a liner for configuration in our Faces config file. You need to add a mobile navigation handler, which I've already done here. Next, we want to ensure that we have a clean separation between the mobile and standard browser views. So let's add a new folder to our web pages in which we'll place the mobile views for our application. Let's begin by adding a new folder and name it mobile. Next, we want to apply a standard template across all of the mobile views as we did with the standard web application for a normal desktop application. But we hear we don't have enough time to go into that. So we will add a mobile render kit directly into the XHTML file as opposed to in a template. Therefore, what we want to do is recreate the view for obtaining a quote, as well as the current registered user's view in a mobile format. Let's build a mobile view for the auto quote form in this section. To begin creating the view, add a new XHTML view named auto quote into the mobile folder. Next, copy the sources from the standard auto quote.xhtml view and paste them into the mobile auto quote view. Next, remove the template from the newly created view and add an F view render kit equals prime faces underscore mobile render kit to the view. What we need to do next is mark the page as mobile by surrounding the content within the PM page tag. Now, it is important to note that a single view can contain more than one PM page tag and therefore more than a single page. But in this case, we will stick to one. A mobile page also contains a dedicated header section, which is delimited by the PM header tag. In this case, simply add the text request a quote into the header. Lastly, the content section is delimited by the PM content tag. All the components will be rendered as a part of the content portion of this page. It is also noteworthy to mention that instead of using the table layout or panel grid layout on mobile, Prime Faces Mobile contains a PM field tag, and this can be used to pair a label with a component. Let's change the view to wrap each label component pair with a PM field tag. Now, let's leave the rest as is and run the application. You'll notice that the view looks a bit different as each of the input elements are now styled in a mobile design. 
Let's use the NetBeans Chrome plugin to scale the view down to a smartphone portrait size, and you'll see that the design is responsive. The text fields resize automatically. One of the standard components that has a completely new look on mobile is Select One Radio. If you scroll down to take a look at the Model section, you'll see that the radio buttons have much more area, allowing them to be more easily selectable via a finger. So, as you can see, without even changing the components, the PrimeFaces Mobile Render Kit alters the way in which standard components are displayed, and sometimes also how they function. One of the most often used components for mobile is autocomplete. Let's face it, the less a person has to type on a mobile application, the better. Let's move down to the Make field and notice how it contains a magnifying glass. That icon is used to signify that the field is autocomplete enabled. Begin typing ACME and you'll see that it is completed for you, allowing for easy entry. Another nice mobile layout change is that the default button will now span all the way across the view. Now this can be changed if needed for some situations by simply adding the inline attribute to the button. Also note that the AJAX still functions in the same manner that it would in a desktop application. Plus there are additional AJAX capabilities within the PrimeFaces mobile render kit. For instance, there is an AJAX status component bound to each view out of the box. No need to add one in. Also, since PrimeFaces mobile is based on jQuery mobile, it brings with it a few idiosyncrasies. For instance, jQuery mobile initializes all components at page load by default, and if any state changes, then the components must be manually refreshed. Otherwise, they'll not be enhanced for mobile. PrimeFaces Mobile hides this by providing AJAX support for all components under the hood. Well, this has been a whirlwind tour of PrimeFaces Mobile to get you up and running quickly. We've covered the basic concept behind mobile views. We also covered the stages of configuration that are required for PrimeFaces Mobile applications, as well as how to lay out a single page mobile view. In the next video, we will focus on navigation and I'll show you how to add more than one page to a view.